everyone, I hope you're well and keeping safe. Today I want to talk about this book, Creative Alcoholings. Now there should be a video that came out, I think, just before this one, so the day before this one, I would assume, um, about me showing you a haul which um, I bought Tim Holt's new um, Alcoholings that he released um, in January. So uh, basically, um, I wanted, I've been watching a lot of his demos and it's been really useful, but I just wanted to find if there is a book that I could purchase and work with the book. Um, and this book looked really good, so I decided to get it. And it says here, Art for Modern Makers, Exploring, Painting, Pouring, Blending, Textures and More. A step-by-step -step guide to achieving amazing effects. And it's by Ashley Malberg. So let's have a look inside. I, um, I really enjoy this book, looking through it. And I'm also looking forward to be diving into it and actually using it with the alcohol inks. Um, soon. So it's essential supplies, basic techniques, inspiration color and composition, finishing touches and alcohol ink projects. So essentially um, you're taking alcohol inks and you're using them as you would use um, any painting medium like acrylics, watercolor um, and other um, tools. So um, here she goes through all of this in the um, content. So here's a little introduction. Here's the artist herself. Very beautiful pieces you will see in the book. Um, so essential supplies, she recommends what to use with alcohol inks if you're not familiar. And you can see these are Tim Holtz, but I think these are the older ones because the book was published oh it was published in 2020 all right but i would assume it probably was created or, or was sort of being made and put together late 2019 uh, as it takes time to to bring out a book obviously so i'm not sure if at that time she already would have uh, been using the new alcohol inks but it doesn't matter, there are also different um, types of alcohol inks that she's using and um, uh, he or she um, shares the alcohol ink brands, which I always really like when the artists use um, a certain brand um, or different brands and share it with us so that we can if we enjoy their art we can purchase that specific ink or that specific tool and try to replicate it uh, with our own sort of style so I really like that not all artists prefer to share that but I do like those that do so in her case um, there is a number of different alcohol inks alcohol ink brands Brie Reese, I'm not familiar with that brand, I need to check it out. Copic Various Ink Refills, um, Jacquard Alcohol Ink Pinata Color, Ranger Tim Holtz Alcohol Inks, and Spectrum Noir Marker Ink Refills. So you can obviously use also the, the refills because they are alcohol um, based. All right, so. Then we have the blending liquids. So again, you can alcohol blending solution, which I just bought or I already put it away uh, by Tim Holtz, but also there are other things you can use. And then air tools. So you, um, you can use embossing heat tool, which is this one, but that one dries it really quickly. Hair dryer, again, canned air. Uh, straw. Now this is advised against airbrush. Um, so basically Tim Holtz, one second. So this is what I was meaning when I said this book probably was worked on and put together before the new products came out uh, in January from Tim Holtz because I'm pretty sure 
um, she would have mentioned those. So in the case of straw, it is highly advised not to do that. And Tim Holtz just came out in January with this beautiful tool that avoids us breathing in through the straw. Um, the, you know, what potentially could be harmful um, alcohol fumes for the lungs. So uh, use something like that. Okay, so let's see surfaces. So she talks about what surfaces you can use. Other supplies that you can use in combination. Oh, look how beautifully organized this draw is. I wish my drawers were like that. <laughs> it's a perfect Instagram picture, isn't it? Yes, so um, I'm also quite keen. I haven't read this book yet, but I'm quite keen to find out what this gold is because I can see it appear quite a few times. I wonder if she mixes it herself. And yes, it's a bunch of things. There are sealants as well. And gloves, uh, probably. Yeah, you can see. Must have safety supplies. So I guess in that case... You can't really use a straw anyway because if you're wearing a mask, and that's probably the safest thing to do, is to wear a mask, which is what I will be doing when I'm going to be working with alcohol inks because I already wear this mask when creating my own handmade watercolors. And um, I will also put gloves on because alcohol really dries out skin. And right now we all need to make sure we moisturize all the time and don't have any cracked uh, skin because that's how infection and bacteria can get through uh, in the opening of your skin so make sure you really uh, moisturize quite a few times per day to keep your skin nice and soft and obviously we're washing our hands now um, a lot more with what is going on at the moment okay so that's that basic techniques look at this beauty so the way she uses this gold kind of looks like the, the new alloy gold by Tim Holtz, which I purchased. I wonder if, again, at this time she was creating something herself. So it clusters um, beautifully. Okay, so um, I highly recommend, if you haven't watched that whole video about the alcohol inks, um, do have a look there. I'll try to put it in the card here for you because I um, explain or, or show the few new products that have been released by Tim Holtz uh, related to alcohol inks that I have purchased. So it might help you to, um, to do that. Okay, so this one seems like the gold ink by Tim Holtz as well. I wonder how she achieved this, whether she mixed something in here. So place a clean sheet of Yupo. Yupo paper is another paper that you can use. Um, so you need to get the right type of paper that doesn't absorb alcohol ink. It needs to sit on top to create all these pools and puddles. Um, so it can't be an absorbent paper. So like no watercolor paper or anything like that. It has to be either Yupo or specially designed alcohol ink papers, which Tim Holtz has a whole range of, from glossy to metallic to other ones. So it says here, a few paper on your workplace, pour about one ounce of isopropyl into a small squeeze bottle and drop equivalent part of alcohol ink and metallic mixative about eight to ten drops of each so with the new inks you don't need that much um, of the drops because they're a lot more intense by tim holtz that is give it a good shake until you see the gold in the mixture and then squeeze the metallic alcohol ink mixture onto your yupa paper and use the heat tool to push the mixture all over the surface you will again you can use this tool now you will see little metallic lines or ridges start to form as the air from the heat tool pushes the metallic particles together. Okay. Also notice a pretty shimmer metallic gold across the entire painting. Right, so basically with the previous um, metallic inks from Tim Holtz, he explained that you would get like a even sort of coating the spurs of the mixing, like you can see here, of the gold. But to create these little clusters, he created a new um, ink, which is called alloy. So you can create these little speckles. But from what she says is that you can use the heat tool to push 
these things together or the the gold and that that is how it's going to work so i'll try it look how beautiful this looks here so i'll try um her techniques and see what happens now this um this thing here isopropyl I don't know what it is. I need to look it up. I heard about it. I thought it's the same as that alcohol, what's it called, blending solution um, that Tim Holtz has, but I'm not sure if it's the same thing or not. So I'll need to look into that, whether there is something else I need to get. So basically loads of information. I like the fact that there is a little bit of guidance here, but mostly you get beautiful pictures to look at. A really beautifully put together book, you know, that I tend to have a little bit of criticism over books. Actually, that happened maybe twice throughout all of my book reviews that I didn't like the layout and found it a little bit confusing. But generally, um, these days, especially if you buy like um, a book by a modern artist, they have a good eye for things. So I think they overlook, um, over oversee everything, the whole process of all of this and the layout tends to be very good. So like in this case as well. Um, then she's also showing how to use stamps. So you, there's so much you can do. And this is why I am so excited to try this new, um, new medium for me. It's completely new. I haven't had any experience yet with the alcohol ink. So that is giving me some joy and excitement to look forward to. Now that we are all stuck at home. Okay, inspiration, color and composition. Now that's a good one as well because colors are super important. That's something else I'm currently learning about and reading about. Um, how important color is for psychology, uh, for your mental state and for your well-being. So again, super important. And obviously, if you put a color palette together, that works really well. Um, that will make you feel quite good working with those certain colors. So I really like this color scheme here. If I bring it up closer to you, quite unique. I haven't come come um, across many of these, but it's basically these kind of um, green color, like a hooker's green type of green, um, like a forest green. And then there is a peachy pink with what seems like a sage Although it says here gold, but yeah, beautiful sort of combination of all of them together. And more here, then she also reminds you of the color basics. So if you're not familiar with those, there is a good reminder here. And you can see how different um, alcohol inks work to paints that they create these shapes that you can't do with other paints and that's what's so much fun about them again three colors so just minimizing the colors and then showing you how and what you can create with those and it looks really beautiful and then you can also do christmas toys for next year get all of your christmas toys ready <laughs> Oh dear. Right, so loads of different projects that you can embark upon. Good old Amazon, you can order everything online these days. And I love, love, love this type of art. I really want to create it for um, our second living room. Like we have a small one, which is at the moment kind of doubles as a playroom and a small um, sitting room. And then the main living room I haven't come to to decorate yet so that will be uh, the next project okay so just will give you a flip through not of all the pages because that would be a little bit unfair to the artist but I'm giving you most of the picture so you can have a good look all right I need to go back to looking after my son my husband has helped me for a little bit today and that is it so I hope you enjoyed this book and I would highly recommend it great great book if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about alcohol alcohol inks uh, in the shape and form of a book 
So thanks for watching and see you soon.